Alright, welcome back to my video everyone. Last video we touched on stats and attributes and I mentioned I would touch down on that again in the next video. Um, that's kind of a lie. I will not be touching down on that completely. I will be more focused on preparing ourselves to make an inventory system in, within the next few videos. So what I mean by that is I'll add like a little side panel with a little inventory button and we're going to add some items into our stats. We're going to make a whole new inventory folder and you know maybe a piece of armor and a weapon to start just to show you guys the basics of that. Um, a few things to note since the last video I've I've changed a couple icons here, got the proper health and energy one, better food one, nothing too crucial, uh, something you can do at any point. Um, I've taken some gear off the character, like the backpack and some pouches on the side and glasses, stuff that we will be using as actual inventory pieces, and yeah, from there we can get started, and actually before we truly get started, I'm going to go, I'm going to generate lighting in my scene. So I've generated light for this scene and I'm going to save, I'm going to go to main menu and I'm also going to generate lighting in main menu. Now I didn't need to do this now but I wanted to do it before I forgot about it because you will notice some lighting errors once we start actually testing the game jumping between scenes. So that fixed that already. So now we can truly get started. Um, let's see, game scene. And just like in our main menu, how we have a right panel, we are going to do the same thing in this game. So we're going to go to canvas, panels. We're going to create a UI image. We are going to rename it, you guessed it, right panel. We're going to change it to black, opacity 100. All right, let's slide them over here. And we will upscale it. Actually, let's make this width of about, not 200, that's way too much. Oh, let's go 150. What is happening? 150. There we go. Alright, and now we will change the height. 500, nope. 1000. Almost there. 1500. Not exactly. It'll work if I do this. Minus 200. And there we have it, we got a sidebar now. Maybe I'll change the width. Yeah. Okay. Right panel, we are going to create a game creator UI button text mesh pro. I'm going to drag it under right panel and recenter it zero zero. We're going to delete the text mesh pro. We're just going to use the button. Now the width. 160 by 160. See how that looks. Maybe that's a little big. 120 by 120. That looks perfect. Okay. Um, I'm just going to find a good spot for it. Let's go. So this button here will be our inventory button. Maybe I'll keep it down here. Hopefully it doesn't get cut off on certain devices. Okay, we're going to rename button inventory open I'm going to change the image here give me one moment I know you can't see it okay we can use this temporarily just a little just a little bag here actually what else do we got no okay bag is fine we'll use that all right so this button, 
will open our inventory. So for that to happen, we will need an inventory UI. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new UI image under the panels. And I'm going to rename this one inventory. We are going to change it to black and opacity 100 as always. Nice clean look. I'm going to change the width to about 800. No, maybe 1,000. And the height, 1,000 as well. Right about there. And we'll slide it, whoops, not that one. We'll slide it. Something like that. All right. I'm gonna change the width back to, we'll go 900. Because I want a little side panel here as well. 850, we'll stop it at 850. Perfect. All right, and let's see. Yeah, so we'll create another UI image under inventory. We'll call this side panel and black opacity. I'm going to go with 150 this time, just so we know it's an actual separate piece. We're going to slide it down here. 475. And the height, what was the height of this? 1000. Just add a zero here. Perfect. And maybe a bit more wider, 150. There. So this will be our inventory. So basically my idea for this is right here will be like an armor tab, weapon tab, medical tab, uh, materials or crafting components, and then an exit button or something. So let's see how this is going to work. First of all, right panel, button, inventory. I'm going to add the instruction to set active inventory to true. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to set combat panel to false. All right. So now if I turn the inventory off and we hit play, when we click the inventory button, it should get rid of our buttons here and open the inventory. Just like that. Now I can't close it yet. We will do that next. So I'll turn this back on. I'm going to, let's see. I'm gonna copy and paste our exit button here. Duplicate that, slider down to inventory, side panel. All right. I'm going to change the position back to zero, 0, and slide it right down to the bottom here. I want to change this image. We are going to maybe an X or something. If I can find an X in here. Mm, maybe not that one. I think we'll go with... Come on. I really wish you guys could see the drop down menu because this is just painful probably. I apologize and I will continue to apologize for this every time. Oh, what was that? That was not an X, sorry. Brr. You know what? 
I've got a better idea. Maybe we'll just use letters. I can just put the letter X if I want. I'm going to look for one more second here, and then if not... Um, okay, that's it. We will use the letter... Oh, wait a minute. No. That's just not it. Oh, here we go. X. Perfect. So button, exit, button, inventory, exit, because, you know, nice and neat and tidy. I'm going to change the scale down to 125, 125. All right. So this button still saves the game and quits it, so we're going to get rid of those. I'm going to set active uh, combat panel to true and set active inventory to false and I'm also thinking when we open the inventory maybe it gets rid of the side panel because I don't know if this button being here will continue to affect this or not it could break my game somehow We'll give it a shot right now as it is. We're gonna hit play. So now we got inventory that opens and closes. What happens if I press this again? Okay, nothing. So we might be able to keep the side panel. Uh, depending on other buttons that go here, you might wanna get rid of the side panel, like, I don't know, something that performs an action or, you know. It, there's easy ways to break your game, so you wanna be careful on what's set active and what isn't active during button presses but for now this looks good I don't think this will affect it in any way so we're just gonna leave it as it is right now all right so inventory is created basic inventory button let's get some functioning tabs here um, side panel I'm gonna duplicate this button I'm gonna move it up I'm gonna have it in order down this list. So the first button will be button armor open. We're going to slide it up and we're going to change the image to something that kind of tells you it's armor, maybe a helmet. That will work for now. Subject to change. All right. I'm also going to uh, change the opacity. No, I'm going to make this. Yeah, I'm going to make this like grayish just to indicate that it's not selected yet. All right, I'm going to button. I'm going to just keep that under button armored and duplicate. Move it up, button armor, open, whoop, opened, and this one will be fully white, why didn't that say, button armor, opened, there we go. I'm going to duplicate this as well. We will call this button weapons, button weapon, button weapon opened. All right, we're going to move these down right there. We're also going to change the image to some kind of weapon indicator. Hmm, maybe that one there. And, yep. Alright, 